All right, and here is another quick video that I'm doing to train mostly friends that have come into the game recently. But also, if you stumble on this and I don't know you, feel free to uh, watch the video and see if it helps you at all or not. I'm going to make a series of these. There should all be as short as I can get them, although sometimes I tend to rattle on. But anyway, first thing, this one's super simple. When you first log into the game, you hit continue, you see this screen. What does this all mean? You might have some idea based on the names, but let's actually go through it. Arena is a totally separate component of the game that almost nobody plays, but hey, if you do, more power to you. It's a way to be able to do some training for uh, spaceship battles without risking losing your ship and having to pay for it. That's about all I'm going to say on that. Training lets you redo the training that you did when you first started the game. Or if you're like me and you've been playing for a damn long time, training is training that we never got, which they finally added to the game later. Uh, solo, probably the most common type of gameplay that most people in the game play because it's essentially putting you into an online world that is running on servers but everybody that you're going to see in this world is an NPC. The names of the ships might actually sound like they're human names because they are, but those are simply taken from the in-game world and they're actually NPCs piloting those ships. So generally, you'll hit solo play. Uh, that's going to load you into the game like it's doing right now, and I'm going to exit as soon as we actually get in the game so I can show you the other options. Okay, we're back to the main menu. Hit continue. Now we have open play and private group play. Open play is probably the, arguably the second most common after solo play because open play is just like solo play except with the addition of other people playing the game that also clicked on open play. Open play is essentially the biggest private group in the game. So anybody that clicks on open play is effectively in the same group. So you will see each other. You'll be able to shoot at each other. You can help each other. You can do all kinds of activities in open play. Uh, the one reason that open play is not the most common type of gameplay is because some people prefer to do non-violent activities like uh, research or flying and discovering new planets or collecting biological data or even uh, hauling uh, materials on their ships without having to risk an actual player coming by whose gameplay is very different than yours. Their gameplay is to shoot you and then getting shot and losing your stuff. NPCs can certainly shoot you in solo play, but generally NPCs are not nearly as difficult and they don't follow you nearly as much as real players. So open play is good for people that don't mind a little pew pew against other people because you're probably going to get some, especially in busy worlds. As soon as I click open play, it'll just go right in the game. So let me cover the third type of gameplay. And this one is probably the least common, although none of these is tiny. Solo play is probably 65%, 70%. Open play is probably, I don't know, 15% or so. And then private group play is the other 15 to 20%, whatever the math comes out to 100 is. Uh, private play is for people that have already established some friends in the game. You don't want to play solo. You'd like to interact with your friends, but you also don't want to be in open play and have the possibility of just random people flying up to you, shooting your ship, blowing you up when you're just trying to do some peaceful activity. When you go into private play, you're going to see something like this, initially just with your name at the top, on the top group. So you will be, uh, you'll be able to click on your name and then click on connect to private group section. That will load you into the game. And anybody else who's in that group, and you can see right now as of this recording, I've got 17 people that are in my private group. So any of those 17 people can come in to the game, click on connect to private group, and they will be in the same 
uh, group with me so that we can all see each other. But I don't necessarily just play with these 17 people. Sometimes I like to go kill Thargoids. So I might play with the anti Xenu Initiative, which is almost 13,000 people as of this recording. So that's a very large group of people, but they're all grouped up based on an interest, which is killing Thargoids. So again, it's a way for people that want to go and kill Thargoids, but don't want to be an open play, don't want to risk having somebody who doesn't want to kill Thargoids, but rather wants to kill you coming into the game and killing you. So it's a large private group. Another friend of mine, another friend of mine, another friend of mine, another friend of mine, and then Xeno Strike Force is sort of a smaller group of uh, people that also do a lot of Xeno fighting. Actually, Rich also does mostly anti-Thargoid activities, as does Radis, as does Saiban, as does Narco. So I do a lot of anti-Thargoid stuff, so that represents the groups here. But I'll just go ahead and go into my own group here. And the load-in is exactly like it would be for solo or open. Once you've made that selection of which group you want to go to, and uh, what I want to point out, and actually, I probably should have gotten into somebody else's group. Oh, let's take a look, see if anybody's online. Probably nobody. Oh, okay. So Radhus is. So since um, we are friends and I'm in this group, I can also see that he's online, but he's in solo play right now. So I could send a message to him and say, hey, do you want to jump into my Atlas Rand group? And that way we could meet up, play together, see each other in the game but not be in open play. So that is it in a nutshell. I told you these would be short videos, but essentially when somebody is inviting you to go play with them, you're going to want to use a private group. If you're just going to do your own thing, you don't want to be bothered, play solo. And there's, no there's nothing wrong with playing solo, even if you want to combat uh, NPC ships. Uh, open play, if you're actively looking to engage with other people that are humans, um, whether uh, it is for fighting each other or maybe not even necessarily. Like a lot of people end up meeting in open and then liking playing together and then creating a private group just for them to play together and away from the open environment. But that is your three environments that you have a choice of being in plus a little uh, the, the extra training uh, environment and the extra uh, ship fighting one, which for better or worse, almost nobody does these days. So that's it. Hopefully this uh, clarified a few things for you. Um, if you knew this all along, well, obviously this is meant for beginners. Um, I'll be putting out more videos like this. So if you have any topics you would like me to cover as somebody who's played the game for thousands and thousands of hours and um, frankly, sometimes take for granted what other people don't know Part of the reason I'm trying to do this series is to remember all the things that brand new players would be um, interested in learning that I kind of take for granted already at this point myself. See you on the next one.